Hey there, this is Chris X. I wanted to talk about the whole thing with uh, Teresa's Pisces lately. I know I haven't really made any videos on her, like directly, it was more re uploads or something. But a lot's been going on, and I decided I'd like to have a conversation about this with you all. Um, please talk with me in the comments if you'd like. I'd really appreciate just listening and having people understand and talk, you know? I just want to say that, yeah, we know how Trisha has been. Or at least a lot of people do. Um, she's pulled racist, anti-Semitic. Transphobic, all sorts of stuff, kind of uh, rhetoric across the board. She's been abusive too. She even like punched Moses to be bruised, and she didn't respect either Ethan's or Shane's boundaries for a while. And she twists words and changes statements and makes sure to try and put herself in the best light as possible. And I just want people to think about what someone like that would do to a kid if they're already acting all types of ways to adults. Like, I want things to work out, I never want to wish bad or whatever, because, you know, I want the kids safe, you know, and it's nasty seeing people hope for um, her to have a miscarriage. Uh, them to have a miscarriage because it's like you're just showing how little you actually care for life or a children's life who never did anything other than have a parent you don't like and however they act it I'm not gonna try and wish harm on a fucking child y'all I'm just not and people doing all of this you're just emboldening them to have this self-victimization when you know there's things you could actively criticize people on on how they're acting without making yourself to be the monster you're pointing at right like with all of this it's worrying how abusive she's been um she said really weird things about wanting a full jewish man saying she wanted to be with a Jewish man whose parents were both Jewish after saying people aren't fully Jewish if only the mother is which is inaccurate because in Jewish religion it's also an ethno-religion where it's just if your mother's got if your mother's Jewish then you could be considered Jewish it doesn't have to be a whole thing and um for her to have this kind of way about it and continuing to fetishize Jewish men while saying uh, she doesn't want any Jewish kids but wanting to make sure she has a full Jewish it just seems like it honestly seems like a supremacist trying to uh, um, what is it something about the pool it's like they're trying to dilute the pool or something you know it's weird like seriously look at um, Mr. Beard's video on uh, on Trisha Paytas and it says Trisha Paytas is an actual Nazi and it explains a lot of stuff okay I am just genuinely appalled but I kind of knew about her being a certain way for a while so I'm not really all that surprised and a lot of the time most of the people that are surprised are people that didn't listen to Jewish folks in the first place you know because uh, people have been talking about how she's been for a while People's not been paying attention how she's been um, on for people with DID or for people who are d different races that she tried to paint herself to be and all of that. And it's like, we keep playing the song and dance where it's like, oh, I'm going to keep enabling them because I like watching their content and then act surprised as soon as it gets so out of hand after people enabling a fucking monster. Like, I'm serious, y'all. This shit is jank as fuck, and I'm tired of it. And, uh... 
I hope people get treated right. But y'all really gotta understand how if she's gonna treat adults like this, you know, you can't really say for sure how she's gonna be about the kid. And I get that people, they can change after having a kid or whatever, but I just think that shouldn't be something that we rely on because it's not a kid's responsibility to have someone change. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's what I mean, because it just doesn't make sense for me to have people be like, oh, there's nothing to worry about. I just hope for the healthy baby. Well, the baby can be born and be healthy, right? But in another year, that's another year, and things add up. And it is more to it than just the kid being born for them to be all right. And I really genuinely hope that Trisha and Moses take anger management classes and spousal um, classes because they are seriously, they have a lot of work to do if they really want a stabilized home for this child that they say that they're gonna love. Like, I just genuinely, I just don't like seeing anybody hurt, okay? And I really do not like how many people are just shoving it off and being like, oh, she'll be a fine mother because she's wanted this for so long. You can want something all day, but if you don't prepare for it, if you don't work for it, it doesn't mean it's going to end up being a good time. Like, I just couldn't imagine being a kid of hers, honestly, just because of how hate much hatred this kid already has for being the child of this person. And it's really disgusting how many people will hide behind the anonymity of the internet and just say awful, ridiculous stuff that would seriously hurt and harm themselves if they ever heard anybody say anything like that to them. And I just don't appreciate it because it's like, why are you wagging the finger when you're not acting better yourself like that's what i'm saying it's just like why be a hypocrite you could have just not said anything at all and it would have made a better contribution than wishing a fucking miscarriage on somebody do y'all understand how serious that is and how not flippant you should be about something as serious and sad as that because you don't even have to know somebody who's gone through that stuff to at least be mindful of the fucking words you're fucking using, right? So, like, Trisha's are gonna see your comments. Your friends who've had miscarriages are gonna see your comments about wishing that on somebody. It's disgusting. It's literally disgusting, right? And I just think people really need to be mindful because this mentality of acting like children deserve to be thrown away for a spite or used to become a better person or whatever is ultimately hurting children. It's ultimately hurting our society as we develop and grow because we're putting so much responsibilities on someone who doesn't even understand sentience yet. It doesn't make sense. And it's not going to make sense because it just doesn't. I just want to say that Trish is known for using any kind of controversy or any kind of wow factor she's, uh, to, pro to get money from and she's really taking advantage of fans, she's taking advantage of a lot of different people who are feeling bad and trying for her and then she'll lie about a lot of stuff and on people to make her be the righteous one in a situation where she was the one who really messed up. Um, and when I say when people enable this monster in regards to Trisha, or it's really any kind of like celebrity or idolization or putting above anyone above others at all, because no one's above anybody. Um, that's the monster I'm talking about, the, the greed, the thing that needs to keep being fed and it's like you're never, they're never going to be satisfied with all the stuff they've done, it's like, yeah, and Trisha's not been great, she's dealt with things that people shouldn't have gone through and I'm never going to justify serious wrong being done to anybody. Um, but 
at the same time, I just want people to be mindful, okay? Really think about how your actions and who you enable, um, what it does to others, and what kind of thing we are sending to our society by platforming people that harm our society. Grand scheme. And if you check the videos that I found on Trisha, at this point it's like two friends and something. Just, there it is. I'm linking like four videos I really thinking of needing to be seen to put the point across and as I told you about this the bids bid uh, Monica SF made a video called my thoughts on Mr. Biz Chester Pites video and that was pretty informative just as something that can like shorten it up for you in a pretty great way solid and you know it really gives someone who gave thought to a response to the video that I appreciated um, so that's something I recommend as well then there's a not so short summary of Trisha Paytas's anti-semitism by Chamber of Spoilers it's a 30 minutes of the video that goes through a whole thing of it then there's uh, Trisha Paytas and anti-semitism on TikTok which is like an hour or something if you really want to go into it and then there's Trisha Paytas is going to be a mother by Perswell which I was like I really felt what Perswell was saying about the whole thing um, she's really thoughtful and then there's can Trisha Paytas ever really be Jewish uh, by Jesse Quinn who is a Jewish person um, the video is pretty solidly informative on the practice of actually converting and Trisha Paytas's relationship with that um, across how she behaves so that's why I also recommend that as well but yeah just to continue the conversation I'm just saying that Trisha Paytas has basically been doing a jump scare with shock entertainment for a while along with Shane and tried to buddy up with Jeffree Star and got bullied by them and all of this stuff that is a whole thing that just is like it says a lot about her as a person for being how she has been for however long and how major has been and all of this stuff that's been a thing while she associated with who she associated with and that's not to say that I'm only holding her accountable or whatever, like anyone involved in the mess of all of this, anyone involved in being awful and abusive and oppressive, for whatever reason, money's just one of the most pathetic ones. Um, you know, to be like that, that, that's a bunch of BS that I think we need to stop condoning and acting like, oh, uh, you know, it's just somebody having opinions being an intolerant prick who is contributing to societal genocide, especially the ones on a grander scale, to really warp and manipulate the minds of the masses to be with um, intolerant ideology, you know, and uh, manipulate and cause divide, you know, whether they want to be awful or not, or whatever or people have mental illness or not, or people have whatever or not, being a prick is being a prick. Being someone that enables awful people is being someone that enables awful people. Um, being 
rude or awful and abusive to other people is being rude, abusive, and awful to people. Like, I don't get- there's no excuse, there's nothing you can say in between those things that you can put to ignore the fact that that's the thing and that's what it is. In my opinion. But, I think that's pretty much a fact, actually. It's an opinion based on fact. There's a difference with pe between um, something like that and someone just saying they have an opinion because it's based on the fact that they want to be awful to people. Like, that's you being awful to people. You know? Yeah, kind of that. I just wanted to make a kind of quick video about it so y'all can die, I don't play that itch either. Because I get it's it's scary seeing people justify abusers by the fact that they're gonna have children. Like, how do you think they're gonna have children with their kids if they're gonna do that to somebody who has the bodily autonomy and ability to leave, right? To not deal with it, you know. I just. We need to do better. And we need to stop idolizing people, making them famous, making them have this monetary gain on being terrible to people. Why do we glorify that? Why do we pay people for that? Why do we as a society pay people to continue to oppress others? and you know waste our time hating on somebody why not just be like no isn't that a lot more simple you just nip it in the bud instead of feeding it making things worse multiple times over i'm always wishing good you know i don't i don't want bad i never wanted bad good luck out there